it is now time for our weekly pet patrol segment where we are talking about animals in need and how you can help them. Of course, this is all sponsored by our friends at Nulo, known for being no better pet food. Today, we are checking in with the SPCA and our dear friend Martha Bowden joins us once again. Good morning, Martha. How are you? I'm doing well. Good morning. It's good to see you. Let's first talk, you know, sometimes if you start to think about, you know, wanting to help or even perhaps wanting to adopt, there are quite a few shelters out there. Explain what the SPC is able to do and how you may be different than some of the other ones that people may find. SPCA Tampa Bay is a for all shelter. That means we won't turn any animal away regardless of species, breed, circumstance. We want to be available to help any animal that needs our care. So it could be a cat or a dog or a rabbit or a guinea pig or even a pig or a donkey. <laughs> and to be able to do that, which we love that message, it does cost money. And let's be honest, this time right now is a very important time to raise funds for the SPCA. What can people do now till April 17th? You were telling me it is go time. You're needing some help. Explain what's going on. That is exactly right. Our 30th annual pet walk is this year, and the celebration is April 17th, but the work really happens between now and April 17th when we ask people to register for free, set up a page, build a team, and get your friends out there helping us raise money for animals. There are so many animals and families in need right now, particularly with the pandemic. We work with, like I said, companion animals, livestock, and wildlife. We need your help. So we'd love to have everybody sign up, get your friends going, Let's get some money raised out there and help animals. And then we can all celebrate on April 17th, either virtually or in person. Okay, let's touch on that. That's exactly where I was going to go. We're seeing some shots of some people like in a Zoom, like we're doing right now, but we're seeing friends out and about in the community. Explain how some people choose to go virtual or in person. Explain what this is all about and how it looks a little different this year. So we had to adapt, as everybody has, um, but in the past, our event has been, the celebration has been in downtown St. Pete, where everybody would get together with their pets and bring in the money that they'd raised, and we would just have a wonderful day. Well, this year's going to be a little tricky. We want to make sure we have that option available and we can observe it safely. So up to 500 of our registered walkers will be invited to join us at North Straw Park on Saturday, April 17th to celebrate. But if you don't feel comfortable coming or you can't make it, we're going to stream the whole thing live on our social channels so you can join it from your living room or wherever you might be and participate in the celebration on April 17th virtually. Uh, one of the things too that I think may be a fan favorite is that the pet costume contest. Are you doing that again? We are, and it is absolutely a fan favorite. And there are some families that plan, I swear, every year, uh, all year to make sure that their costume is the most complex and the most exciting. And it's a lot of fun. So if people want to be able to donate, like you said, up until the 17th right now is the big push. Would you send them to the website or what do you want to get across to people out there who do want to maybe get involved, whether it's monetarily or not? Certainly come to our website at spcatampabay.org. You'll find information there about Pet Walk. You can find information about volunteering. Of course, the animals that we have available for adoption, our wonderful pet hospital in St. Petersburg. There's all kinds of information on our website. If you're interested in Pet Walk specifically, you can go directly to petwalk.org for more information. You know, don't you feel like there's been such a push for people who have been wanting to adopt pets during this time that that yes. also means people, we need the donations to make sure animals are being cared for in the right way. It really does go hand in hand, even though it seems like we're talking about one more than the other right now. You're right. You're right. There's been such an outpouring in this community of support for increasing people's family with a furry friend, which is wonderful. Yeah. But all those families need support and there's still a lot of uncertainty out there. So families are facing big challenges and we want to make sure we're ready to help them. Well, I am sure glad that it's going to be the 30th annual. That is an accomplishment in itself. Congrats to you guys. Of course, you can go to the website or even our website for more information on how you can get involved. So thank you, Martha. Great seeing you. Take care. Okay.